Super cute for Valentine's Day. It's a very pretty dresser. Well friends, we're on another thrifting and antiquing adventure. I am by myself this time. The girls are with grandma for a few hours. So I'm going to check out what I can see at this particular antique store. And I don't make it to this one very often. So I'm gonna check out some places that I don't get to as much, but that have some great deals usually. So let's go in and get started. There's definitely some cute stuff here. Farmhouse beads. This is really cute. Six fifty is pretty good. This booth has some milk glass collection. I used to collect milk glass, but have gotten rid of it so far. That is a very cute side table. And some stencils on it. Fifty nine dollars. Cute. Blue mason jars are always cute to decorate with for spring. This one is eight. It's got everything to it. Wow, that's nice. I always love looking at brass candlesticks. Eight dollars, that's not too bad. Not for that one. And some copper. little copper set tea kettle it's a cute little piece looks like it's on sale too five dollars hmm. and these are really pretty glasses for four Cute. This would be cute for Valentine's Day. It's $10 with some buds in there. One jar. That is $5 actually because it's 50% off. And this is six, so I'm definitely getting that because it is 50% off. This is also 50% off. A bunch of different vintage linens. That's fun. It's a very pretty dresser. This is a really cute bench, and I was thinking of one, you know, for my kitchen for my girls to sit on. It's $24. really cute too. And it would match some of the blue stuff. Oh, it's too wobbly. All right, that first antique store was a pretty good success. I found a few things I'll be putting in my antique booth. And now I'm at an actual thrift store. So I like looking at thrift stores as prices are much cheaper than antique stores. Antique stores are for the vintage pieces. Um, where people are really trying to make something out of their boobs, I would say, and trying to have an income off of that. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go in here and check this thrift store out. It usually has some great prices on clothes and um, knickknacks, kitchenware, so let's just go shopping again. In. I like that. An indoor plant. Fun little desk. This 
is a nice big one. Let's see. Oh, for four dollars? To see if it's sturdy enough here. And this lamp would be pretty with a different lampshade on it. So I'm back from my antiquing and thrifting and I got just a few minutes here to film my haul for you as the girls are watching a short 10 minute show. So I didn't pick up a whole lot. I've said this before, I try to be pretty minimal with what I get. And so let me just share with you. You saw me pick this old jug up. This was, I think it was $5. I took all the tags, so I don't remember. It was 10 originally, but that is such a steal. It's in really good condition. I have two of these old jugs already, and they're so great to put stems in, to put sticks in in the spring greens, um, to resell, but I'll probably keep this one because I do really like having these around for decor. These linen napkins, they say unused. I thought they were so beautiful for springtime. I must be itching for spring here in February, but with, you know, feet and feet of snow. <laughs> so they have some greens, blues, purples. They were $3 for the pack. And I use linen napkins for every meal with my girls even. And so, yes, they may get stained, but that's where finding them used or secondhand, I should say, is wonderful. But I love linen napkins to use. I haven't opened this yet. It is a random bag of linens. And so let's just see real quick. Oh, there's like a little runner. I've sold some of these at my antique booth that I have. Oh, this is pretty beautiful. Oh, <laughs> the big blue stain. It was $1.50 for this whole bag. So Oh, definitely some more stains. Hey, but if I can pick out a good one or two, then I'm okay with that. Oh, cute. So just some fun pieces in there. I think a doily. I don't know. This might be a little tablecloth. Kind of looks like it. Pretty. So for $1.50 for this whole gallon Ziploc bag of linens, and I like having those to resell. Um, sometimes you can find things to lay underneath like my piano has some crochet work on it too that I have stuff sitting on so I do like decorating with those All right and then this basket I actually really just needed something to carry around in the antique store and this basket has a few little pieces coming out it was a dollar fifty <laughs> so great and it's beautiful the light wicker color I love that you can store blankets in it kids toys it would be great with some florals in it, produce in it. You know, I can't ever pass out baskets and for $1.50, I couldn't go wrong. It's pretty sturdy too. All right, I'm gonna jump to the thrift store stuff. I only got three items at the thrift store. One is a Clifford soft cover book that my daughters are already looking at. Um, so that is out there with them. And then this, I wasn't sure. I did pick it up. It's got some purple beads and leaves, but for springtime, I thought it'd be really pretty. I don't know if they're supposed to resemble like dried grapes or something. I did pay $5 for it. It would really look cute hanging on my accordion rack, laying atop my piano. So if I know I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna enjoy it, sometimes I will pay a little bit more. So $5 for that, it'd look cute. Um, as a table centerpiece too with something around it. So lots of options for this. And then I did find a very large basket. I've been watching some of Miranda Christine's thrift hauls and she's been looking for baskets for gardening. 
and this is so big and sturdy. I paid $5 for this as well. I had gone through and looked and looked and this one was a place I couldn't even reach it. So I had to have help getting it down. But isn't that just wonderful and how big it is? I'm so happy to have found this beautiful basket for garden produce coming up here and it'll make great pictures. I could use it to store other things as well too, but $5 for a very nice sturdy light wicker basket. Now I did have some other things in my cart, but that's something I've learned. Put it in the cart. If I'm not sure about it, put it back. There were some clothes things. I'm pregnant right now, so why buy some clothes when I'm already set for what I am wearing right now and wait to see what size I am after the baby in the spring and look for spring clothes then. But that is my haul for you. I hope you enjoy coming along with me. I've noticed you guys really enjoy these types of videos, so I'll keep trying to do some when I can. It's a little tricky with two toddlers, but they do a really good job, honestly, when I can take them. And it's nice when grandparents can watch the kiddos for a bit to, to give mama a little time to do things I enjoy. But love you guys. Talk with you in the next one.